So I was sitting here earlier on having a little rest and as you can see I had my tan done. This is what Nicola Conley Bourne looks like when she has a tan done and no uh, makeup. Sitting here having a rest and I get a message through from a very old friend of mine saying have you got five or ten minutes over the next day or two? So this person wouldn't contact me that often and I knew that when they were messaging me that it was for an important reason. So I made myself available immediately and I said I'm around tonight if you want to drop over to the house I'd love to see you. And her reply straight away was I'm on my way. So I was a little bit scared. <laughs> I was like oh my gosh what's going on? So my gorgeous friend from Dulik, Lorraine, who I, I met Lorraine through our two eldest kids. Our children used to go to play school together, believe it or not, and our kids are 14 now. They're going into third year this year in school. And Lorraine arrives in here, and I only I only met her for coffee there, God, it must be 12 months ago. Neil's trying to grab me attention. He's trying to grab me attention. Oh, he's he's earwigging in the conversation because I told him I wasn't going to tell him uh, this story. He could hear it live. Um, because Lorraine has only just gone but um, so Lorraine comes in and she's all excited and she sits down on the on the sofa and she said Nick I just wanted to let you know that you know I'm a huge supporter of your page and an advocate for your work and I, I watch every single video and I read every single post and I think you're amazing and I said Jesus Lorraine thanks ever so much I'm very grateful to you for your help and she went back you know over the last couple of years of things that we've achieved together on the page us as a community when I say we I mean all of us uh, with charity work and stuff that we've done and then she was referring to when Auntie Minnie passed and the pay it forward thing that we did in the it was the Green Cafe it was called Neil I can't really remember now um, the company anyway that went in behind that the pay the it's on mini cup of tea for random people and you know she was really touched by that and then she spoke about last year when I did the 30 things of 30 days of 30 things that you don't know about me I can never say that um and that she used to follow it every day and she said do you remember I, I asked you a random question I asked you what your favorite color was and she said that was the easiest question you'd been asked on all of that and I said yeah my favorite color was pink and she left it at that at the time and she had it in her head that she wanted to make something for me but she just didn't know what it was that she wanted to make and then a couple of months ago myself and charlie were outside minnie's house and we were going up just to finish off the last couple of bits and one of my favorite songs of 2019 came on which is i am giant and me and charlie hit record on the phone and we sang it we belted it out of the car we literally screamed at the top of our lungs i am giant and you know that song just brings me to a place in my mind which is really really positive and it has a really positive effect on a lot of people that are uh, associated with my company and are my clients and um it puts everybody in really good form like people would stop me in the in the town and say oh you know that i i recorded something with my kid I am giant because you did that with yours and they're memories that you'll have forever. So that impacted her as well. But when she when she watched that video of me and Charlie singing, there's a line in it when he says, stand up on my shoulders, tell me what you see. She knew then in that moment what it was she was going to make for me, right? Now, Lorraine, is, Lorraine taught herself how to crochet a couple of years ago. And she knows that Minnie's death has devastated me really and she went and she found the perfect pink colour right and she said I knit this shawl for you it's in a triangle shape I won't be able to show what she is now because it's so big right she knit this oh. the dog is looking for attention she knit this shawl in a triangle shape and she said the song inspired her to have something made for me that would wrap around my shoulders because of the line in the song and she said and I want you to snuggle it and think of me isn't that lovely Neil that is just a gorgeous thing for somebody to do for me and I've been sitting here like Lorraine is here now the last couple of hours mm. she's only just gone home and I've been sitting here for the whole time with wrapped around my shoulders 
and sorry now if the camera is shaking lads the dog is literally he's literally trying to kill me he's trying to get on the inside as far as I can see um, but I was really touched by that I was really really touched by the fact that she'd taken such a long time can you take the dog Neil <laughs> she'd taken such a long time to come up with this idea for the gift to make for me and there was so much thought and pride put into making that. My favourite colour, the song, something to snuggle up to if I'm thinking of Minnie. And I, I said to her tonight that um, I saw a company on Facebook during the week was making woolen blankets from clothes that were left over from elderly people. And I texted my cousin straight away. I was like, Emma, I can't believe that we didn't do that. Now, listen, the person that we gave Minnie's clothes to, I'm delighted that she has them. And, you know, I get great pride out of knowing that this lady has these clothes. But I was like, oh, Emma, we should have held some of that back to make a blanket um, for us. Or a blanket for Minnie had this porcelain doll, which we gifted to Emma's child, Jessica. And, you know, the, the porcelain doll is in our family for generations like my, my mother and my aunties would have played with the porcelain doll, but in actual fact, it was um, Auntie Betty's doll, who was Minnie's younger sister. Uh, we could have made a blanket for the doll, but anyway, we didn't. But that's the story. I just wanted to come on and share the story with you of the girl who made this beautiful crochet blanket for me to snuggle in and get comfort from. And the fact that the song is tied in, that it goes around my shoulders and the colour and everything. Because... You know, Lorraine is not very active on my page, even though she's telling me that she watches every single video and she watch, reads every single post and that it impacts her in a very positive way. But just because people aren't engaging doesn't mean that you're not being a major positive influencer in somebody's life. And everybody has the capacity to do that. Every time you speak, you have an opportunity to impact somebody. Every time you put a random post up on Facebook, you have an opportunity to impact somebody in a positive way. So make sure that when you open your mouth and when you're posting, that you know what your intention is. Do everything with intention. Don't do anything randomly. Just say to yourself, why am I saying this? Why am I posting this? Is this in alignment with my values? Because when you stick to being in alignment with your values that energy just expands and goes out further and helps people that's all I'll say to you now let me just scroll back oh my god there's millions of you on um, okay so Rona Hoey Callahan says I always think of you when I hear that song brilliant I love that oh Rona is crying she's in tears poor Rona oh Rona I'm so sorry but happy tears I presume Michelle Clancy, oh my God. Oh, Micheline, excuse me, I'm pronouncing your name. Micheline Clancy, oh my God. Pamela Keown, gorgeous. Risa Champion, oh, that's beautiful. Rona Howie Callahan, so heartfelt and thoughtful. It really is. Uh, Mary O'Leary, wow, what a gift, what love. It's a fabulous colour too, isn't it? And you know what, the lighting isn't even showing it up. Like it's, it's the colour of the logo. It's really, really vibrant. Which we're thinking about changing, lads. Watch this space. Uh, Micheline Clancy, such a lovely gift to receive, such a special gift, it really is. Uh, Micheline Clancy, I watched your video when you were singing and dancing to I Am Giant. I think of you all the time when I listen to that song. Thanks. Uh, Amanda Delaney, hello lovely, just jumping on. Hi Amanda, I was having a rest today on the sofa. Um, we were messing each other this morning, I haven't been well for the last few days. Uh, Rona, all good, emotional, em emotion emotional softy oh yeah me i'm the same i'm exactly the same so listen lads i leave it there uh great to see so many of you online my god there's 44 of you there watching live and i'll catch us all on the page tomorrow lads it's the awards tomorrow i'm nervous hence why i'm getting the prep of me nails done me tans are getting done uh getting the hair done tomorrow i am up for businesswoman of the year in my category and we find out live in the room who won and who didn't. Um, and I want to wish everybody the very best of luck who is up for an award tomorrow. I am going to be in a room full of utter greatness. And uh, no matter what happens, 
win, lose or draw. I am so looking forward to spending a lovely evening with everybody from Network Ireland. And my husband will be there. He hasn't met any of them before. And um, Leanne is coming as well. Neil, can you take the dog? <laughs> Sorry. He's wrapped up in the wire here. Um, so, yeah, watch this space, lads. There'll be plenty of photographs tomorrow night from um, Monaster Boyce. Uh, John Kearney. Uh, May and Teresa do be listening to I Am Joined en route to the talks. Energy, brilliant. Micheline Clancy, you will smash it. Ellie White, best of luck tomorrow. Rona Holy, Cal Rona Holy Callan, sending me loads of uh, flowers and kisses. Wendy McCormick, stunt. Wendy, love your name. You know this. You know I've said it. Loving your name. Isn't that the most awesome name, guys? I think of you and Charlie singing to every time that song comes on. Even do the moves. Brilliant. Uh, Amanda Delaney, you'll do fantastic. Micheline, best of luck. Dorothy Sales, all the way up there in the Shetland Islands. Oh my God. Uh, what a special thing to keep and hand down through the generations. Your children could use it as a baby shawl. Oh, Dorothy, I hadn't even, I haven't even gone that far in my thought process. And thank you so much because this absolutely will be kept for generations to come and the love and the thought that's gone into it. Caroline O'Donovan, best of luck for tomorrow, Nicola, you deserve it. Lisa Damien Mac McElroy, good luck. John Kearney, you've got this. And a bottle of champagne, oh, you know me well, lads, for the old champers and Rooney. Lisa Era, best of luck tomorrow. Anne McKenna, amazing, good luck. Catherine Colleen Baker, best of luck tomorrow. Um, Amanda Delaney, Rage and I can't be with you this time, but we'll be with you in spirit, absolutely. I know you will, pal, you're always standing beside me. Barry Morta, best of luck tomorrow. Julietta Hoey, best of luck tomorrow. Uh, Wendy McCormick, stunt. Hashtag stunt woman. I love it. I tell you, you need to start. We need to start coming up with posts for you using the word stunt in it. And my mind would be blown with ideas for you with, with that name. Wendy, listen, I'm going to leave it there. I'm, I'm prattling on here. Um, and I'll see you all on the page tomorrow. Take it easy. I'll keep you all informed. Slan, thanks for all your support.